This is a Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional, a podcast by Our Given Purpose, your space to embark on a transformative journey through the Scriptures, exploring its profound wisdom and timeless truths. I'm your host, Tori Slaughter, and together we dive deeper into God's Word, seeking daily inspiration, guidance, and spiritual growth. Dear friends, let's get ready to discover the richness of the Bible and its practical applications for life. Subscribe now and join our community of Bible enthusiasts on this Lord's Day. Turn with me in the scriptures to Psalm 139. Psalm 139 verses 1 through 12. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. Lord, we thank you for the reading of your word. Psalm 139 verses 1 through 12. Dear friends, today's assigned reading includes Psalm 139 in its entirety, and I encourage you to read. In the depths of our souls, We yearn for a profound understanding of ourselves, a clarity that surpasses human comprehension. We long to navigate life's twists and turns with purpose, knowing that we are seen, known, and guided by a loving Creator. In Psalm 139, we find a beautifully poetic expression of this desire, along with a powerful invitation to engage in self-examination and embrace divine correction. Let us embark on a prayerful journey through this psalm, discovering how it can lead us to a deeper understanding of ourselves and a greater alignment with God's purpose. Bible Study Embracing Divine Correction, A Prayerful Journey Through Psalm 139. Psalm 139 verse 1 sets the stage for our exploration, reminding us that God knows us intimately. He understands our thoughts, our actions, and even the unspoken longings of our hearts. As we acknowledge His omniscience, we open ourselves up to His gentle guidance and correction. The inescapable presence. Verses 7 through 10 paint a vivid picture of God's ever-present nature. No matter where we go, His Spirit is there, surrounding us with His love and light. This truth invites us to invite Him into the depths of our being to reveal areas that need correction and transformation. Hallelujah! How many times when we are going through a dark and dismal period of our life do we invite God into it and ask Him to be the light that we cannot see? I know I have experienced that over and over again and each time I pray for God's light to show up, Oh my goodness, it does. Because I cannot, we cannot, as His sons and daughters, we cannot escape His presence. So all we need to do is invite Him in and seek His presence, seek His light. The prayer of self-examination. As we delve deeper into Psalm 139, we find verses 23 through 24, a powerful prayer of self-examination. 
It is a plea for God to search our hearts, to reveal any hidden motives, sinful patterns, or areas of resistance to His will. This prayer opens the door for divine correction and invites us into a journey of growth and transformation. Psalm 139, 23 and 24 says, Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting. The King James Version says these same scriptures like this, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way of everlasting. More often than not, simply by changing the translation and reading through it a few times helps us to open ourselves up to God's examination and the deposits, the revelation we receive as we go through this self-examination with God through Scripture, it does transform us. It helps us to see what was hidden so that we can be transformed. We can continue to sit on the potter's wheel. We can continue to sit at the feet of Jesus and learn more about His divine character and His will for our lives. Divine correction is not meant to condemn us or shame us. Rather, it is an act of love that draws us closer to God's heart and aligns us with His purposes. When we open ourselves up to His correction, we position ourselves for growth, healing, and a deeper connection with our Creator. Now, to put prayerful examination into practice, we can use Psalm 139 as a template. We can incorporate self-examination into our prayer life. By regularly inviting God to search our hearts, we create space for Him to reveal areas that need correction and refinement. Through this practice, we grow in humility, wisdom, and authenticity. Psalm 139 serves as a heartfelt prayer and a guide for embracing divine correction. As we journey through this psalm, we discover the profound truth that we are fully known and deeply loved by our Creator. It is in this intimate relationship that we find the courage to invite God to examine our hearts, trusting Him to guide us on the path of righteousness. May this prayerful exploration of Psalm 139 inspire you to embrace divine correction as an opportunity for growth, transformation, and a deeper connection with God. Dear friend, may it remind you that you are seen, known, and loved unconditionally. Open your heart Invite divine correction and allow God to shape you into the person He has created you to be. As you engage in this self-examination and prayer, my hope is that you will experience the joy of aligning with God's purpose and the peace that comes from walking in His ways. Amen? Amen. Let's prepare ourselves to hear what Kendra Dublin has to say about today's assigned passages. But first, let me remind you that a Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional offers you the perfect chance to initiate a conversation about God's Word. We are deeply grateful to you for sharing this podcast with your friends and family. We thank our many sponsors whose donations help us to provide this valuable content. If you feel led to contribute financially and become part of the Our Given Purpose ministry, please visit OurGivenPurpose.com. Your contribution will help us spread God's message and connect with people all over the world. God's Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Let's keep seeking, studying, and sharing the beauty and truth found within its pages. Hi, this is Kendra Dublin, and I am a Christian life coach and author and a speaker. 
As a contributing writer for Our Given Purpose, I hope you will gain more insight and inspiration from my devotionals, my experiences, and my testimony through God's word. Thank you for making a daily purpose Bible study and devotional part of your routine and allowing me, Kendra Dublin, to walk this journey with you. Day 172. Are you going to tell it? By contributing writer, Kendra Dublin. Satan is fully aware of how he plays people through deception every day. It is his job and he stops at nothing to put his will into our lives. That is why we have a hard time accepting Jesus as Lord. Another law at work seems to work well until we realize who we are serving. Evangelism in this day is brought with opposition as it was in Paul and Barnabas' days. Everybody has their belief system, and when you challenge that stance, it's easy for Satan's voice to become the voice of those who you seek to save. Many people were raised in the church, but because of life circumstances, left. Maybe they became atheists, New Agers, or believed that they are God. Either way, they set Jesus to the side, and while Jesus was left in the dust, another God seeped into their hearts. How do you gain a person for Christ when they had an ear, but left for a new way? Sounds like the breeding grounds for demonic oppression and possession. I know that Satan will stop at nothing to yield our minds to him, which is why we have been conditioned all these years, generation after generation, with satanic movies, music, government leaders, and even churches. We are constantly fed a new direction, a new route of spirituality to provide the person and not God. We even have churches doing yoga. What a dishonor to Jesus Christ. So how can we gain traction? Or is it that we even need to worry about it? Maybe it's our duty to just testify and evangelize and let God do the rest. It's too much for us to try to plant and water. We leave to God what his task and answer our call to the next soul. There's always a soul that says yes, and we can rejoice in God even if we don't see it. Tell a person about Jesus today, because tomorrow is too late to be great. Are you going to tell it? By contributing writer, Kendra Dublin. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey of exploring God's Word and deepening our faith together. We appreciate each and every one of you for being part of our community. Thank you, Kendra Dublin, for submitting your devotional for our edification and encouragement. Please visit OurGivenPurpose.com and make it a priority to engage with Scripture and allow it to speak to your heart. Remember, you have seeds to sprinkle and don't lose sight of the ones falling on you. Where will they grow? By the road and shallow soil in the thickets? Or will they find a home in good soil to flourish and produce a good work? What God has begun in you, He will complete. Have faith and be bold. You've just heard a Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional, a podcast by Our Given Purpose. Go ahead and share it with a friend right now.